Hey hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1 and welcome inside the new studio. It's not finished yet, it's gonna take a while. But today's video is about dual or triple or quadruple power supplies and how you can connect them together. Because in yesterday's video I showed you that I was using a dual power supply system and someone in the description, Prem, asked in some sort of way how I accomplished getting two power supplies to work on my system. So I decided to make a video today about this little topic because we also need to cover that for the in-depth series that we're going to be doing. So it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. But why would you want dual power supplies on your system? Well, first of all, it has a really good advantage on cost because, because most of the time power supplies with lower wattage are going to be cheaper than power supplies with a lot of wattage. For example, the EVGA 2200 watts coming out for mining. I'm not really sure if that one's gonna work out. This makes it so much cheaper for everyone all over the world because we can go down in power supplies on the wattage and we can just use more of them and then we can accomplish the same thing so it's really simple and straightforward and as i said before let's show you what you can do with it and it's actually really simple so first of all what did i do i just shorted my power supply let's say on the 24 pin connector and I'll show you an image on which two you need to short between each other with a wire um, and then the power supply will stay on so if you turn on the miner um, you will have to use the power switch on the power supply instead of the power button first um, it's really simple so first of all you turn on both of the power supplies one is going to start up and then you just press the button but just make sure that the one that is connected to the wire is not connected to the CPU as well, because then you may fry it, I have no idea, but it's just risky if you do that. So make sure that the power supply that just goes into the motherboard is also connected to the CPU. Um, also, one more thing, you can buy these things from Amazon that you can just link them together, and that's like $10 or so, so it's really cheap. But if you're really like me, the lowest you can go, you can just use a normal house wire that goes into the walls and you just plug it into the 24 pins as I shown on the image. And that's gonna save you even $10 or $15 so your return of investment will go down even more. It's, it's really simple and why do you need to buy such things where you can just short it out and do it that way. This miner is 24 seven on so i don't really see a big problem so now that you know that you can just buy it from amazon or you can uh, short it yourself with the image that i showed you i will put it in the link in the description below too or on the website maybe really easy too for people that want to uh, go really low on power supply cost and save a little bit of money there's also this new asus b250 mining motherboard that can connect up to three power supplies at once it's just the same principle but these are probably going to power the motherboard at the same time but i think they're just doing the same with it so they're just connecting the little two pins that you can short out with the third one that is actually powering the entire motherboard so it's, it's really complicated and we know a little simple trick so i think this was the end of the video and hopefully i helped you out a lot so if you still have a question like this one that you really didn't know uh, just ask it in the comments below and I'll try and make a video about it and I think that will be great So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one